What? Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are, ugh, today we're at a really busy intersection. <laughs> no, but seriously, today we are at the Street of Shops in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. You guys, this place is amazing. It is multi-floors. You've been here with me before. If you haven't, I will put a link thing up there in the corner somewhere. Um, so yeah, I, I'm hoping it's been a little bit. We're gonna see if people have had time to restock. Here's hoping. And again, it is October. Where's our Halloween, folks? Where's our Halloween? And we're off. Okay, folks, I decided to go ahead and give you a quick overview of up top. I don't know that person. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Up top, you are going to find a lot of the newer items. They, they are vintage inspired, I guess you could say. Here we have a little of the farmhouse decor. It's really cute, and I will give credit where credit is due. While this isn't necessarily the things that I am looking for to either collect or resell, they do have some beautiful displays, so it is worth taking the time uh, to kind of look through there. What we are looking for, again... Are those vintage and antique goods and here on the first floor they do have a number of rows of cases i always like going through these Ooh, we had oh no that said 40 percent off oh my gosh i'm just now seeing that i always look at the peanut stuff that charlie brown pocket doll i do happen to have him already as well as linus and of course schroeder dang it I might have been interested in one of those Hallmark porcelain dolls in the back, but such is life, I guess. Well, I could go back. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Here we are seeing some beautiful paperweights. We have seen these before, but I always like filming them. I think that they're absolutely beautiful, all of that color. I'm not the biggest paper rate weight collector, so I know very little about them other than, oh, hey, look, that's pretty. <laughs> What I did really love, these do seem to be um, like handmade. So they are eggshells. Then, of course, they have all the little miniature figurines in there. And they, of course, are embellished. I just, these were so charming and cute. I might go back and pick some of these up. I think they're absolutely adorable. I love that Four Seasons egg in the back there with all of the little clay figurines, the little cherubs. There is a Snow White one back there. Very cute. Moving on, again, we are on the hunt for vintage Halloween, though I didn't find a whole lot in here, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I did see these Bystols. These are newer ones, and I could really tell from the front because they're so shiny. Talking about reproduction, here is an adorable little cupie. It is a newer one. I love the fact that it does have that With Love sticker on it to mimic the original stickers that would have come on your cupies. She was only $10, and it was a really good price, but I really prefer the vintage or antique ones. Right now, we are headed upstairs, and this is a little ramp here that we'll see um, next to the cabinets. So we're heading up here. This vendor that we're about to pan into, boom, they do sell a lot of Ellie Smith glass. So I always check out here, and the thing that caught my eye was this swung vase in the blue glass. I love it. I think it's absolutely adorable. She's a small one. She's not overly huge. It was only $11. I was looking for a maker's mark because I was like, is this Ellie Smith? And I do believe that it is. I've never seen a swung vase in the Moonstar pattern. So I was very excited to get that. Um, again, you will see some other Ellie Smith here in the green. Um, there is a lamp made out of a canister set. And I did see this. It is a serving platter in the moon and star pattern. Again, I'd never seen that. It does not glow. So I did leave it behind. Up next, we do have an Ellie, yeah, hello, an LG Wright, pardon me, pattern glass here. It is obviously a covered dish. Now, this does have a native on the top, and there is a hunting scene there on the bottom. I was having a hard time getting it to focus, uh, but again, it is a hunting scene on the bottom. And then, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, it's like Ernie is turned into a jack-o'-lantern, a demonic one at that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
So the curse has been broken. We did find our first item. And so I was able to get a basket and I headed down the stairs here. Aren't you proud of me? Look, I filmed that like a professional, y'all. Didn't even feel like I was going to fall. No, I did not. I'm proud of myself, I might say. A lot of little smalls. Now, what caught my eye was this adorable little red glass art glass owl here. He's cute. Unfortunately, he was pretty damaged there. Um, then at $10, I just couldn't justify it. Do you see it? Do you see it in this booth, you guys? Right here to the right. Oh, we're zoning in. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's all of this Fenton custard glass. I absolutely love custard glass. And we do have the Parisian medallion fairy lamp. And, um, you know, it's dirty. It does need cleaned up. It needs a good scrubbing and a bath. And I will use a magic eraser sponge. On the top, I was like, oh no, is that glue? Oh, uh, and no, it turns out, in fact, that it is wax. Um, it was priced at $12. $12? Look, the lily pad compote back there was only $20. we have got a little basket, a bell. We've got a small vase. The vase was only $10, and it is an older one. Uh, it does not have the Fenton stamp on it. I was super excited. And I did, I was feeling generous. I did leave two pieces behind. I don't know. I'm, look at all of that. Ooh, love it. It's great, you guys. Oh my goodness. The deals. That is what was getting me. The deals. I'm still excited about those deals. Now, I did decide to go ahead and film in here. I have found some really great, interesting pieces. Um, I didn't see a whole lot uh, today, and that's okay. Not every day can be a winner. What I did see was some goofus glass. However, it's in a green glass. I've never seen it. And at $7, I was kind of like, hmm, that's unique. I know goofus glass isn't all that desirable. However, the condition was, I mean, nearly pristine. That green glass. And I was like, but do you glow? And no, it doesn't. doesn't glow. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did leave it behind. Had it glown or fluoresced, pardon me, had it fluoresced, I would have picked it up, especially at just $7. But alas, such is life. Now, I am going to show you guys here some vendors. Um, and I really wanted to take the time to kind of highlight them and show them off simply because I think that they do a wonderful job with their displays. Again, you can really tell here at the Street of Shops that a lot of the vendors really do take the time to curate items, to display them beautifully. I mean, it's like walking into a Pier 1, but for vintage. Look at this one. The Sarsaparilla Farm very much reminds me of my grandfather. Um, again, it, this isn't necessarily the aesthetic or the vibe that I go for. However, I can appreciate a curated display when I see one, just an old farmhouse style. I love it. Look at the silverware um, wind chime. I, th it's, it's just charming. It's adorable. It's done well. You can tell that they have a passion for the things that they not only buy, but resell. So I definitely wanted to take the time and highlight that. All right, guys, we're about to jump here and we're going to head down. To the next level. This is all the way at the bottom. This is the basement basement here at Street of Shops. And there is, of course, a little ramp that'll make it easy for us. And I do have to be mindful while we are down here because there are low lying pipes. I am rather tall, so <laughs> you can knock yourself out here. Just wanted to give you guys really like a more immersive experience rather than jumping to everything. Here we go. This vendor always has a lot of good stuff. Um, today they did have some things. There weren't a whole lot that I really got for resale. As you can see, I mean, it is like floor to ceiling. Do you see that missing spot? Boom. That was what was in there. It is an Ellie Smith Amberina. Now she does glow. Pardon me. She does fluoresce. It is priced at just $15, which is a really good price, uh, especially for an Amberina compote 
Um, I just, uh, I've had this piece several times in my hand and every time I just put it back. Eventually one day, if it's still there, I will buy it. I think $15 is a great deal for a collector and there's certainly room um, should this be an item that I would want to resell. But today, today was not that day, folks. No, it was not. However, what day it was, was finding this Black Cat wine bottle. Now, I did just find one at Ohio, at the heart of Ohio, Antique Mall, and I absolutely love this. I think that it is so spot on perfect for Halloween. So I did go ahead and pick this one up, and it was just seven, six bucks. Pardon me. Look at these adorable little chained bears. Oh, they're so sweet. Now, obviously, there is some condition so far as the paint loss on that. And you know what? I didn't mind. I thought it was worth picking up. Um, it's just absolutely adorable. Now, here we are headed down into the main basement. We're going to kind of look around here, give you an idea of what you're working with at the Street of Shops. Um, I would definitely recommend taking your time here. There is so much to see. Uh, and they do have a diner. So if you get hungry, you can eat here. And it's good food. Now, here we have a little tobacco jar. Um, obviously, it is a bear smoking a pipe. Great for pipe tobacco or whatever else you want to put in there. I mean, you know, who am I? I'm not here to judge you. At $8.75, I did decide to go ahead and pick that up. I have actually had one of those in the past, um, and I'm super excited that I was able to find another one and offer another one up for sale. I think it's an adorable little piece. So we're just checking it out, seeing what's what. Here we've got a lot going on. Look at that giant Parisian cat there. She's large and in charge. She is. Very well done. I would never want to ship that. I mean, I would, but the cost would be insane. Here we've got some beautiful aqua glass candlesticks. Unfortunately, they were priced at $6 each. Obviously, that would make the set $12. Um, they are unmarked. It is very much in a Art Deco style. Had it been $6 for the pair, I would have picked them up. I don't, I'm super attracted to candlesticks all of a sudden. Again, we've got a lot of stuff in this booth, so I was really trying to take my time. Here we do have the hull, the wheat pattern. This is one of the few pieces, I'm about to say it, that I actually like. Most of the other stuff, I'm not the biggest fan. Very much in the Roseville style, they were really trying to capitalize on the popularity of Roseville at the time. Okay, guys, so the next thing that I see is this white and gold, very like mid-century modern fox. I want your opinions down below in the comments. To me, this very much was reading new. Um, I could be wrong. So if you do recognize this and you're like, no, that is vintage, it felt new to me. The quality of it was... I, it felt newer to me. I, I, it's hard to, 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 to describe. I mean, when you're handling a lot of vintage and antique goods, you know exactly what I mean. My question for you is, is, is that if this were new, would this still be something that you would be interested um, to buy? Again, it would fit in wonderfully with a mid-century decor. I think it's a very interesting visual piece. It'll go into a lot of decors, a lot of homes. Um, you know, they're colors that certainly they're not going to fight against anything. So I am really interested to hear what you have to say about this mid-century vintage inspired or actually vintage Fox. All right, guys, we are about to wrap up today's video, and there is going to be a part two. Here is everything that we've gotten. I'm super excited. Obviously, getting all of that Fenton custard glass, ooh, especially $13 for that fairy lamp. I was just, oh, I was beside myself. I love it. I'm just shocked. The tobacco jar, the black cat, the little bears, very excited. I think we did really good for part one. I'm gonna wrap it up here in just a second. Well guys, I think that is gonna be it for today's video. I know it was a short one. However, we found a lot of stuff really quickly um, and we're only halfway through it. So I am gonna cut it here. So you're gonna to have to stay tuned for part two, hopefully.
we find as much stuff. So guys, I hope you had a good time. It was a pretty darn good score and we got some great prices. And as always, until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye guys.